Welcome back to Phaser TV here for Star Series. We have ourselves a game with that team. They're going to be up against Titan on Mirage. Yesterday, that team were actually able to draw against Virtus Pro on Mirage. So just let that one sink in a little bit. And uh, I would expect a very different result today, not just because it's Titan, but also because Flamey, uh, well, this is actually the reason for the delay, by the way. Flamey cannot play, so they had to search for a stand-in. They actually took uh, a Russian player called uh, Lamp, and he's going to be playing instead of Flamey. So we'll have to see how that actually goes for that team. But I can't imagine that it's going to help all too much, as Flamey is uh, certainly one of the, the, the better players uh, from, from that team. And whenever he's stepping up his game, whenever he's really feeling himself and having a good one, it, it always shows in the results for that team. So we have to see how, how that actually goes. And t Titan, after you know doing such a great result uh, in Stockholm recently, they are probably feeling amazing still. I mean, they just had a very close game against Virtus Pro, in which they lost uh, on cash. So that was a bit surprising as well, considering that Virtus Pro been very up and down lately. You know, kind of you know, thinking, okay, why is this? And I, and I suppose you can always just throw, because everyone knows you know, Virtus Pro is a great team. Um, but their online results have been shaky. And you can always just throw that argument in there. I suppose that some teams, especially you know ones of the Calibre versus Pro, that are so used to, well, they're, they're just so experienced. They're so used to the pressure of really big matches, of, of huge LAN events and stuff like that. So online leagues, you know, they, 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 they tend to drop off a little bit, you know, not as focused. That's, that could be one explanation. Um, I know that's a very common one. It's been like that in many different games, many players and teams. You've seen this trend over the years. So... I don't expect uh, Virtus Pro to necessarily be any different, but perhaps there's another reason as well. Either way, Virtus Pro with a very strong game against Titan. Titan, uh, perhaps uh, just still chilling. I believe they're still at land, so you know they're all playing in a great environment together. It's all having fun. I think we're going to be jumping into the knife round very shortly, so we'll be able to get into the game uh, very soon. But if I was to make a prediction, I'd have to go with something around like 16 to. Five, something like that. I, I do see this as a crushing result in Titan's favor. We'll to, you know, it depend, you know, pending the pistol rounds and everything. Obviously, if uh, that team are able to score the pistol rounds, it will go very well for them. Uh, they'll be able to get, of course, perhaps up to six rounds guaranteed if they win both. You know, that's always great, isn't it? But uh, Titan, they kind of, uh, they kind of have some crushing results in Mirage recently as well. Honestly, I was casting for. I think like 12 hours or something yesterday, so I actually missed the games. I see, I've seen the results, and I desperately need to look at the games. There's going to be a few demos. I won't be able to watch everything because I don't have a, I have the time right now. But some of the the results looked really interesting, and uh, one of them was uh, I think it was was it Titan LDLC on Mirage? I think it was and like 16 to three, something ridiculous. Uh, some ridiculous results there, and I really want to look at you know how Titan were playing and and get to grips with you know what kind of setups they were using to inform uh, my casting in the future and. Uh, uh, well, perhaps uh, they'll enlighten me here against that team. But yeah, pretty pretty eager to watch those demos, I must say. But either way, looks like uh, we're going to be going live here very shortly with that team and Titan. So it's pissed around time. And we will see that it's uh, going to be a quick push towards A here for Titan as they ready themselves up for this one. We do have... Already, this kind of been worked out by that team. They've pushed around the B side. They've heard nothing. They are already going for the retake. They've got two players actually close on the site around the bomb boxes. So this is, could be very good here for that. They're already picking up a couple kills. There's the third one in from Bondic. And Kaylee finally does get returned in two and three from Kaylee. Could just be a quad kill. So one on one now. And Bondic versus Kaylee. And it's going to be Kaylee. Just, just gets the quad kill. Why not? Kaylee. Big result there. Going to be able to take the pistol around for Titan. Looked pretty damn sick for, for that team, actually. And they, they did something a little bit more um, risky than usual. They had actually like two players in this area here. And then they sent you know, the rest of the players around here for the quick push uh, just to get the information. Usually when you do this and have these players in this area, you have a guy here and a guy here. Very, very passive. Very just held back because you want to play for the retake. You've got your players on the other side of the map. You don't want to commit your guys on the smoke, uh, uh, you know, in front of the smokes, and uh, you don't want to commit them on the site to just die two versus five. You want to retake five versus five, and that's usually the thinking there. But that team, they had the setup on the site, and it seems as if, you know, it was going all <laughs> all very well until Kaylee was able to just do a one on four, as uh, as you <laughs> maybe expect. I don't know, but either way, we're you know into this pistol round a little bit now, and so far so good for Titan. They've managed to take down Lamp. 
He's standing for Flamey. But we haven't really seen all that much more from them yet. A lot of time killed on the clock, so now they're deciding, OK, we're going to leave the Apex in middle, and now we're just going to slowly go for the push. Maybe next first man going to be looking for those entries. And we'll find Prizrak initially, and Blade will get a return quickly as Manic will fall. But generally speaking, things are going well. They have only lost one player, and the bomb will go down for sure. Well, I don't think they're going to get a quick pick onto Kenny. That's actually a free weapon as well. Things could get a little bit dangerous here, but Kenny's going to shut him down immediately. Bondic now coming <laughs> coming through the uh, smoke. There is uh, Kaylee waiting on the other angle. Look at this. <laughs> this is great stuff here. And uh, Bondic, Kaylee, Bondic. He's going he's gonna to win this one. I don't know if Kaylee is actually spotting. He actually goes for it. Let's get a dink, actually. But but uh, Kaylee is going to end, end Bondic. So there you go. Titan with the quick two rounds on the T side. That team, I mean, the CT side was where they previously showed in you know, a really, really strong performance against uh, Vedas Pro. I mean, they had a very good C uh, T half as well, but uh, but their CT side is definitely not shabby. And in a lamp to stand in, they put him on short, it looks like. That's, uh, or, or at least in, on the B site, generally speaking. It may actually change when they have some weapons. But for now, that just lie in wait, patient. And there goes the HE from Apex. Going to eliminate World Edit <laughs> as uh, Kenius makes his way up connector. Now more players to be found here. Kenius going to get a free one there. Not just uh, find one kill. It's going to be Bondic who does that as they make their way in onto A. So there is some damage done. But uh, so far, that's all they're going to get. Kaylee goes down and Titan are having a very smooth ride at the moment. And in comes the AWP onto World Edits. And he is, of course, kind of the star AWPer here for that team. He's the man to watch. Now, will he go for the picks on middle? Of course, he's not going to be up against an AWP just yet. So this is certainly something that could work if he gets a quick pick and then can fall back. If he just gets one shot here, though, and they're going to run through the smoke, this could be very, very dangerous. Let's quickly go back to World Edits. He's going to fall back after he sees the smokes. We do have Lamp standing. Can he do any damage? He does take down Kenny S on the short push. So that is going to slow things down a bit for Titan. But they are ready for the, the split onto A now. And in they come. Bondic ready and waiting for that player to emerge from Palace. Kaylee is there. And Apex going to find himself a quick frag. But well did it edit. He's, he's handling things. He's handling that connector. And they won't be able to find their way through there. So now the A split is kind of uh, not really going to work now for Titan. It's going to come down to some individual performances. Just, you know, Kaylee maybe finding a pick or two on the A side, forcing a rotation from that team. And similar principle for Maniac, but Maniac's going to go down. The bomb does make its way over. So there is still a play to be made here if Kaylee can get a couple picks and perhaps force a rotation. Let's have a look and see if he's going to be able to get something. So far, nothing for Kaylee. As we do get Existence moving through underpass. Kelly, in fact, going to die to World Edit. And Existence now lurking through underpass. Desperately wanted to try to connect with Kelly on A. But now, of course, he is got a goner. And Existence might just get caught here by Lamp on the peak. Not quite. Almost. And he is between too many players there. And Existence will also go down. So well played to that. They will be very pleased with that round. They... They handled things very well. They managed to get the picks across the map. Well did it. He fell back. He didn't really, you know, really overcommit. And it's like Existence is asking for a pause. So not sure as to the reason for that. But uh, it was a little bit too late, and the round has already started. So they're kind of carrying on regardless. But perhaps Maniac is having a problem here, as uh, Apex says, play. Sad face, or di or disappointed face. I suppose that's more uh, more apt. And Bondic in a very good position here towards the slope. As Titan do say that it is okay. Bondic could very well sabotage the round here for Titan as they try to make their way into an A play. And there goes a grenade. Bondic might just be peeking as the fire is raining. And there's the pop flash. He's going to spot the players with grenades in their hands. And Kenny S will fall as Bondic is now going to back away. Damage has been done. No more to be found. Very safe play. And Titan looking pretty pretty poor at the moment on the T side. They are making their way up middle, though. We're going to have Wed well did it. With the AWP still perhaps unknown his position. He's going to go for the quick peek very shortly. A flash in 
Pop flash would be very nice for World Edit right now for a quick peek. We'll have to see if he's able to spot anything at all. It's in fact him who will get flashed very ever so slightly. As Apex goes in, goes for the hunt around the corners. Oh, World Edit, great reaction there from him. As Lamp does take one down as well. And once again, it's existence alone at the end of the round. And Titan couldn't quite seem to find their way in. No openings to be found for them. How, how very disappointing for Titan so far. But I'm sure that they will find something very soon. Of course, though, it won't be in this round. I mean, they're going to be on the eco now. So, generally speaking, Titan should not get this round. This should be pretty easy to handle here. Got Bondic for, with a quick smoke for Palace. And they are all gathering towards the slope right now. And that team actually have a pretty darn good setup for this. They've got a player on the stairs, one on the site, and one on Shadow. Very standard setup. If they put the counter flashes in play at the right timing, this should be an easy cleanup. Here they come, though. Bondic going to take the first kill out of Palace. Kaylee goes down. And it is Apex to take down World Edit, but Blade pulls out the P2000. Going to get two francs with that. The bomb does go down. Kenny is running around with a knife, and Blade is going to shoot a bullet to the side of his head. And that's going to result in a bomb down for Titan. So a big result in there. And World Edit did get taken out as well. So a little bit of economic damage as well. But generally speaking, it is still completely fine for, for that team. This was a round where Titan was saying, okay, we want to build our economy instead of hurt your economy. Our priority is on our own. And we can see that the result in that is also that uh, they're not really focusing on getting any frags, so they aren't going to really be damaging the other team's economy. And we can see that that wouldn't have really resulted in all too much, as they're sitting on a lot of bank at the moment. And they don't really have to do anything differently. Well, that it is, you know, repeatedly changing up his angle. You can see him on uh, Connector at the moment with Lamp, potential crossfire, as we have the A split set up. And this is really cool because Maniac can just lurk and catch someone from middle who rotates from B or short. But in goes Titan. Perfect grenades from them so far. Great flashes, completely blind, absolutely helpless. Apex going to gun two down. In comes Maniac to take down those players rotating. And that's going to be the entire team eliminated, all but Prizrak, who makes his way in now from Kitchen. It's certainly a very tough time for him as he sits there, lying in wait, perhaps waiting to die. It's a pretty sad note. I shouldn't just leave that hanging there. It's a bit, a bit depressing, a bit too depressing for a Saturday. It's a nice Saturday evening, especially considering how like hot it is outside. I can't believe it. The weather is really good as well in uh, London. Global warming. It's a <laughs> good job, human race. All right. So we're going to have Titan now with this buy, Kenny S with the AWP. And this should be a team which they're able to find picks against, especially, you know, with a player like Kenny S and Kaylee. I'd be very surprised not to find a match where they aren't finding picks. Kenny S going to go for the shot through underpass. So far, though, World Edit hasn't been that aggressive. There are some teams that do this. Dignitas do actually drop Fetish in with the AWP. Fetish is actually really good at doing the timings, the, the drop timings towards underpass and through connector with his AWP. But so far, that team themselves, they haven't really been a team that has really gone too aggressive. World Edit's been playing very safe, actually, with his AWP, which I really like. Unless you have really good uh, you know, flash setups and team play around it, it's, it's hard to do it properly, to do that aggressive AWPing. And we do see well, that it is actually towards CPL, so he gets uh, smoked off. But so far, he's happy to be smoked off. Kenny S misses the shot. Ooh, not good there from Kenny S. And that's going to slow them down. Apex going to fall now. And Kenny S is really low. This delays the push. This slows them down. And Kenny S is stuck now. He's lost his support. Apex is gone. He has to wait for the bomber existence to come in now. And it looks like a Lamp is going to take down existence as well. And Kenny S will also get taken down. Lamp is just locking short. Down. He's got the key. He swallowed it. No one's getting through. And right now, it's going to be a 4 to 4 scoreline as that cleanup. And they are doing a phenomenal job. I would have to say, if that were able to draw against Virtus Pro Mirage and then today win or draw against Titan, I would have to eat this keyboard. I'm not going to make that promise because, I mean, keyboards, I, d I don't think eating that, consuming that much plastic is really good for you, but. But anyway, it's, it's pretty unlikely, right? Okay, so 4-4. Four four. We do have uh, 
The same setups here for that team, more or less. They're not changing it up. Why would they have to? What they're doing is working. It's just about how fast Titan can react. And it looks like Bondic going to be put to the test now. Gets smoked off at Shadow. Just completely isolated by that smoke. Has to go up the ladder. Going to get taken out for free by Kenny S. And now all the frags should slowly start coming in. Kenny S with a dink onto existence. Kenny S, calm yourself, good sir. As they do struggle to make the position onto the site. And this is looking great for that team. They've actually got Blade on the bomb site itself. Lamp gets a pick up on stairs. And this is like the best stand in ever so far, as Titan still can't get onto the bomb site itself. They've run out of grenades. It's just Maniac with an HE. He's going to go down. And now Kenny S and Existence have to perform a 2 on 3. But look at that. In comes the frag from World Edit. And now it's on Kenny S for the 1 on 2. Bomb is towards slope. Kenny S, 35 seconds left to play with. Going to get taken down. And wow. They couldn't even get. They, they got stuck all around this area. They just they couldn't get past this area, which is. This is often like a fatal mistake. This area here, when you're pushing up um, for the A the A push, a common mistake uh, that everybody does is that you push players and you kind of jump here. And as soon as like the first man stands here, you basically give up the quick push around around this onto the site, and people start getting jumbled up in that uh, in that area, and they start getting slowed down, and you don't get anyone in the positions that you need. So the jump boxes is it can be feel like a nice position, but it often hinders you on a fast rush. So we're going to see the second attempt with the pistols here. Bondic going to lay down. Uh, bullets onto Titan as they make their way in. And it seems pretty easy now. Blade coming in as well with a few frags. Kenny S going to tap one into the side of his head to take him down. But uh, Kenny S now himself going to fall. And Titan having a hard time of things on the pistol. But they do get the bomb down again. And both times they've tried to play like that, it, they've, they've, they've had a kill and the bomb down. Which, you know, they couldn't ask for anything better than that. So we could see uh, the all powder Kenny S again. But he's going to go for the AK. And I do like this. Uh, that team have been playing quite passively. They ha and this is this is the thing, right? So the picking style works really, really good against teams that are also trying to pick you on the CT side, or, or teams that are trying to play aggressively. One of the reasons why the old Titan lineup struggled so hard against uh, Virtus Pro on this map is that Virtus Pro play one of the most amazing anti-picking uh, setups on the CT. And we can see that so that team. I do not know whether they have been inspired by the old the old uh, Virtus Pro way of things on this map for the anti-picking strategies, but they have been playing very well with the same ethos. And it's going to be a quick pop flash that should have been the frag there for Bonic, but no, it's going to go down. And we do have a good situation for Titan there. They're trading frags. Well did it with a great little flick, but he gets caught in the back by existence. Boosted up into that CPL area. Maniac goes down. That's the bomb. That is the bomb down on slope. And this is going to really hurt Titan now. And now it's just Apex left as well. Quickly picks up the bomb, but he could have a player from slope. He can have a player from CT, from Jungle, from Connector, from Palace. They can be from anywhere right now as Apex tries to make that bomb plant. Does get the first kill. Oh, Apex! Great double coming in from him. And Blade now is on 11 points of health. He's coming in onto the A bomb site. Apex knows that he you know where the last guy was. So he's going for this B plant. Smart stuff here. And he's going to go for the plant towards Kitchen. And this is uh, quite interesting. Usually when you're in a one-on-one -on -one like this, the CT has to look where the bomb plant is because that can inform him as to where the T is depending on how much time the T had to get a position. And Apex had so much time and with a plant like that, he can, he can actually kind of be anywhere but short. And obviously, we're seeing Blade coming up short here. So he has no idea. Apex could be a headshot, it could be in Kitchen, it could be anywhere. He's going to spy Apex now. Rattling off a few shots. Apex going for the peak again. Does get the kill and we'll get the AWP as well. So it's even a red line. It's even well at its AWP. The lucky red line of World Edit. So I'm going to toss it over to Kenny S. So that team will actually lose a round thanks to Apex coming out huge. But once again, largely speaking, that team, what they've been doing has been working. Bondic actually had the frag. He didn't make it. And still they were able to have a really good round. Great stuff there from World Edit. Takes down Kaylee immediately as we see the push coming in from Titan on B. It's down to these two players, Prizrak and Lamp. Once again, Lamp with a quick kill. That's all he's going to get. Prizrak on six health. Must have gotten dinked. Full armor still. And the HE going to take him out. Somehow, though, Titan have lost a lot of players. Two on the push in, one on middle. And in comes the retake. Very strong potential retake here for Dat. 
In goes the smoke there onto car. Perfect smoke. This is going to really stop that bomb from going down. Existence stuck there. What can he do? He needs his teammate to do something here. But Maniac is stuck as well. He's got too many angles to look at. Just trying to play the time right now. Just trying to wait. They have loads of time. This is the only friend right now for them. The only commodity that they have. And in that slowly wrap around. We have existence now, but in comes Bondic. Bondic's going to be finding existence very shortly here. Existence, too many things to worry about, and Bondic will take him out. That team, man, they are crushing through. Titan do have five rounds on the T side, and that's great. But the way that that team are winning instills me with confidence for them. It reminds me of uh, Overgaming's recent successes, how Overgaming have, have started to evolve and develop and flourish and bloom into a, into a much stronger team when it comes to the consistency. But right now, it's all on, on how consistent that, team's ha that team have been on the, on the setups. What did it? Really taking risks, switching up his uh, setups a lot. Titan, they've start they started to realize that it's a bit harder to pick them than they first imagined. And good position here from Prisrak. The pistol's now for Titan. Have to see if they're able to do all that much with them. So far, not that much action here from Titan, just moving around. They actually mind, managed to find their way into the A-bomb site. We have a very defensive setup here from that team on the A-site, which is fine because they're against pistols, and the bomb is not even there. And the bomb is in middle. Existence is going to snap the neck of Blade, but it does seem to be the case right now that uh, well did it with that orping that he's been doing and with the defensive setup from that team in that round. It is going to be an easy hold, and the money is still looking strong for them. And... Get Blade and Welded it, the two top fraggers here. Prisrak uh, on the bottom, but he's been playing B. You know, he's not really seen a huge amount of action there. And Lamp has been playing short, so Lamp is going to get the, the best of the kills here. The, that, <laughs> that B position is usually the most boring one on Mirage for the CT side, so unfortunate that Prisrak got stuck on that one. And he actually might find some, uh, some action in this round. There are players going down on the pass, and that team haven't mixed in any, any you know, much aggression in just yet. So what are it with the frag on middle? I have to return to that fort in a moment as the action does start to accrue on middle. And we have Titan moving back up apartments now from under underpass. They do have a player in Palace, so they might want to end on an A split here. This could very well be the intention for them after having created a level of threat towards B and middle. But it looks like uh, we're going to have Kenny S going for the peak in middle. Very delayed. Middle take here from Kenny S, and lots of options still open to them. The bomb is with him, and World well, it might have a very interesting angle on him. No, he's actually going to go towards Kitchen. So they don't have anyone but Blade peeking in, and he's going to spot Kenny S. The timing couldn't have been better. Kaylee with the peek, very good timing on the peek, and Bonnick's in the site, though. Their only chance is really to get a plant on the A bomb site at the moment. Or perhaps, or perhaps it's still possible to go to B. They're, they, they still have options open now. It's very, very interesting round as both teams try to work out what is going on. That team holding positions as best as they can. Lamp doesn't have any support, so he's got to be careful. In comes Maniac, gets the frag onto Maniac. And now B is pretty much shut down as an option, not getting that pick on short. They have to go for A with 10 seconds left. In they come. Bonnick's at the back of the site. Existence has to look forwards and backwards at once, and that's just not possible. Bonnick going to take him out. And the patience, the sheer patience from that team. I don't know whether they've just been... they just spent, I don't know, like a three-month retreat in some you know, monastery in uh, East Asia somewhere, just meditating all day. But th the level of serenity and how calm they are under these situations and not moving, because that's kind of the deal, is, is the not moving part can be difficult. Because Titan were trying to find you know, some peak, and the peak would have been brought on by that team becoming uneasy with the lack of knowledge. But they stuck two to two on either side of the map, and they waited. Great pop flash in now. Going to shut down the, uh, the set play before it can even start. Bondic has been doing a great job getting pop flash into that position. He's only actually failed once, and he actually still managed to win that round, I think, or at least do a lot of damage. But that team right now looking like the better side. They are playing a fantastic CT side at the moment, and uh, Titan are definitely feeling it. See Maniac coming in right now from Connector. By the way, my, predi my prediction has been completely blown up. And it uh, looks like Bondic going to get a couple kills already on the triple. 
You have Kaylee up in the palace once again, though. Kaylee always in the palace. The prince, Kaylee, trying to see what he can do. Does manage to take down Bondic, finally. That Galil is not going to do all that much at this range. Look at that, three facing from Rangers. Good stuff there from that team once again, only losing two players. And that's going to be the half 10 to 5. It's uh, it's definitely very well played by that team, but the CT side is the easier one. It's it's uh, for sure the easier side. Titan could quite easily just win every single round of CT after, if, if they take the pistol, obviously. So we'll have to see if they're able to do that and what happens there. But obviously, if uh, that team take the pistol, they're already on 13 rounds. They've, they're they close to winning the match. They just have to think about you know getting those, uh, those three more rounds, which shouldn't be too much of an ask. But against Titan's CT... I am certainly going to be very curious how that team actually play. It's T and CT is often very different on pretty much every map. You've got the, like, as CT, the, the principles are that you are defending the sites, obviously, and you have to eliminate the, the Ts. So you have to work out where they're going to attack, have the best positions, have good team play setups to give yourself advantages when they push in. And that's more or less it. And there's lots of ways to go for the fences that you can get information or you can, you can play passively and you know, rely on, on running into uh, mistakes of their, their attacks or exploit you know, certain pace, the, the, exploit the pace of their game if they're too fast or too slow. There's, there's lots of elements there, but on the T side, it's completely different. We we'll have to see what that are able to, to accomplish here. We've got the three-man face here in middle uh, before I talk about the T dynamics too, too much. And looks like uh, they did actually make some noise. They got a decoy towards the B as well. So this this is interesting right now. They're going to flash over middle and allow Wada to peek in. In come the grenades to middle. So interesting round here from that team. As we see it unfold before us, it's it's uh, looking like they're going to hit short now. Really interesting stuff. There's lots of options still available for them. Titan's still trying to work out exactly what's happening. You see Kenny is going for the jump towards Palace, thinking, is this is this an A split? Is this a are they playing on B? They're not on B yet. So they're still trying to work it out. There's three players in kitchen. They've already reacted to this. And in they come through connector now for the split. And this could go well, but they just have to make the kills. They got a Kenny S to deal with though. Kenny S is uh, hitting a lot of damage out there. Gonna get run through my blade. As we have Apex coming in from the back as well. So a slight advantage for that team. But in comes Apex, squaring it all up. Modded it on one HP. Looks like this is going to be quite difficult here for Titan, but Apex going to find himself lap up in the palace. Bondic going to drop Maniac. Bondic has got a lot of work to do. He takes down Apex. Huge frag. Now it's just Existence left over. Oh, and he gets the frag on Existence as well. Bondic with a quad kill. Unbelievable stuff from Bondic. And they are going to get the pistol round. Is it possible? No, surely not. It's, it, no, surely not. But I don't want to eat a keyboard. That's really th that's really my prime concern at the moment. Is the, <laughs> is the fact that I don't want to eat the keyboard. Either way, that team are very very uh, are very much looking good at the moment. But the thing is, again, is that the triple scout comes in, the double CZ. So Titan really looking to disrupt the economy and the flow here for that team. This is a very dangerous uh, kind of a buy to run into a Mirage. We've already seen how this map is kind of the ideal map to m make the most use or be the most efficient for the Triple Scout Double CZ. We can, there's, a, there's a lot possible with this uh, when it comes to all the angles, the jump shots that you can make. And so that team, the, the worst possible thing for them would be to go for picks right now. They've got to hit a site together. They're doing that. So they are eliminating some of the risk of playing against the scouts. This is exactly how you're supposed to do it against loads of scouts. Existence is going to go in for the peak now. And it uh, looks like it's, it's going well so far for that team. And this investment from Titan is going to obviously potentially lose them a lot more rounds as they didn't just go for a safer eco and instead invested in a, in a full buy as Kenny S is uh, coming in. And this is like the worst case possible scenario. Gets a great flick there onto Blade. But the thing is, is that if that's all he gets, then and that's, that will be it. All right, so I mean, just, just another quick point again against the scouts. Uh, what happens, the, the power of the scout buy is usually that if teams misread it and don't see them in time and commit to something, a, a picking play or a play towards B, then that's when tr problems happen because the scout tags you and gets you weak. You're very vulnerable to a CZ or, or another scout shot. And then play, like maybe two players get picked off before your play comes in, and all of a sudden there's a huge advantage for the scouters. But we saw that uh, that played the perfect counter strat to that, hitting a site really fast all at once. That's exactly how you play against that. 
So whether they knew it or not, whether it's just a little bit of luck, it's 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 fantastic for them that it worked out in that way. Because now they're looking at getting, you know, a lot of the well, an easy round here. So you've only one seed, Dylan Kenny, yes. But so far, so good here for that team as they make their way towards A. The uh, the B stack did come in, but unfortunately for Titan, that team has certainly favoured A in many of these rounds. And it's like Blade is going to. I think that was Oompa Distance. I always think about Oompa Limpers when I see Oomps for some reason. Small orange men. Not the most fun thing to be imagining. Either way, though, that team looked fairly steady at the moment. Kenyus has found himself the AK. And so it's all on uh, Kenny S to be able to save this. They're playing for the exits at the moment. And nice little uh, imp action here from World Edit. And get the next kill as well. So he's getting a bunch of frags. And he's going to keep that AK alive. So this is important. Nice. Kenny S actually getting loads of kills there. Uh, but still that team looking quite strong. They're going to be picking up the AWP on World Edit. And this is where things could get interesting. This is where things could swing into the favor of Titan. I'm not convinced that the AWP is the best idea for that team um, as it will make, make their plays a little bit slower or a bit harder to pull off. And if they go for a rush, the AWP is harder to play with. And Kenny S is going to go for a peak on Pius. This is absolutely perfect for Titan. And he gets the shot onto Bondic. And that is a great start. They have to go in now. And Kenny S gets tagged down really low. Gets another frag. Kenny S doing work right now. And Lamp coming in with a frag. They are making their way onto the site. But Apex is there more or less unchallenged at this point. There's a quick double. And well did it up on the jump boxes. Completely useless. And there you go. Kenny S basically allowing... Titan to have a significant advantage on that round right at the start with the quick pick from Palace. And we're going to see that uh, that team now are going to be going for an eco, tossing around some pistols. And I do, I do worry for that team if they try to play too many pick battles against Titan. They should surely be in advantage there. They've got such phenomenal skill when it comes to that aspect of the game. I'm going to see that Maniac's going to spot this push. They're going to play for the contact. Ooh, decent damage. There it is. Cool should go out. Here's Maniac. Going to spray down some heads. There's the triple. Can't quite get anything else, but... Oh my goodness. Well, they're getting blown out of the map there. By Kaylee. And they're kidding. Going to go for the jump shots of the USP. Get the knife. Oh, no. There you go. Just going to settle for the headshot instead. And Titan climbing back. Now, obviously... Titan are six rounds away from tying up the game and a further nine rounds away from winning the game and against that team's three. So this uh, this this could be really important right now to stop Titan from building that money. And what did it? He's going to go for the challenge on middle. He's going to find himself a Kenny S. Oh my god, he gets the frag on Kenny S. This is certainly a big deal right now. That team, they have many ways to react after making a pick like that. This is basically Christmas right now. In comes the, the pop flash play, and Apex able to spray down Lamp. It's very effective. Titan had to react. They had to do something that was a fantastic way to get a quick kill. That team's still trying to allow Titan to reposition and see what they can get. Prizak positioning himself in connector. This is going to allow them to set up for an A split. Already spotted though, Prizrak. If he goes out and dies now, his position is pretty much useless and he dies for nothing. So he has to keep himself alive. He can't be too antsy. Again, got to become that monk. Got to be calm. Got to wait for his teammates to come in and call the play. In comes World of it. There's the pick. Kaylee flashed, hands over his eyes, goes down. Blade comes in onto Apex. This is perfectly. Perfectly played here by Dat. In comes Existence now. He gets flashed, and the, that will allow the bomb to go down. These grenades are perfect from Dat. I cannot emphasize that enough. And they have sustained no losses in on top of that bomb site. And in comes Maniac. Existence as well. Maniac's going to go down. Existence is going to be the last man here. And look at this. He's just he is just there with his M4 Cyrix, looking for a, a cozy cor corner to cry in. Because right now, that team are really handing them their own asses as we have Titan losing this round. And that team very close to winning the match against Titan. If you had told me that when I woke up today, I would have 
I don't know, we've gone back to sleep because I would have believed I was still dreaming. So 14 to 7, and look at the money here for Titan. This is, they are forcing it up right now. They, they, this is a scrappy buy. Well, it's, they have a FAMAS, they don't have full nades. It's cl as close enough, it's not that much. It's like I can retract the scrappy buy statement. It's a buy, but not the optimal buy. Let's go with that. As we do have that team looking to go for a bit of a faster round here towards uh, the B site. And so far, well done, it's not to find a pick. If he gets the pick on the jumping player, this is what they're playing for. That's going to obviously allow them to push in for the rush. But they're going to go through the smoke anyway. This is a smart choice. Just get in there. Maniac with a quick frag. They've got to come in with the reef frag very fast before Maniac does too much damage. He's going to get a second kill. Good job by Maniac with the FAMAS. And now it's going to be... Oh, T Lamp does get Apex over on short. But Kaylee to take down World at it. The support sniper is down. So 2 on 3 with the bomb planted here. Lamp almost getting taken out. And there it is. Kenny is coming in. And there's the second one as well. Titan going to bring themselves back into the match and this this was uh this this uh, round was basically for the game as well if they didn't win this one well for that team at least if they didn't win this one obviously they're basically broke they're completely broke and it would have been a, a fairly easy 16th round for for that team so and a 16-7 small line against titan i just i just i don't know i don't even i don't even know either way that team's still able to buy um lamp it's going to be on a, a Deagle, though. Otherwise, it looks pretty good, buy-wise. And looks like they want to make f for the A set play. And this could come in fairly quickly as well. And this could go quite well for them if they're able to just execute this now because the players for Titan are actually in f quite far back positions. They don't have anyone in Shadow. So this is uh, this could potentially be an easy entry onto the site with proper grenades. We've seen that they have the ability to do that. Existence is going to take down World Edit though. And with the loss of World Edit, you can see that they decide the A play is not to be. They needed that guy getting into connector. That's how they made it work previously. And after losing that man, instead they, they decide, okay, let's go for something else. Let's try to catch Titan, perhaps if they're being aggressive on the B side, perhaps if they are moving around a little bit. Let's see if we can catch someone. But so far, Titan are holding their positions. Prizrak going to make his way down underpass. And Existence looking like he might want to drop through. He is going for the jump set to see if he can spot someone. Titan really haven't seen anything this round. Apart from uh, World Edit, obviously. And there goes the Molotov. That eliminates you know, the, the right angle. And obviously would have caused a jump if anyone's hanging out there. That's a, a popular angle to be with if you have a good timing with a rifle. But in comes the A split. Now they've got the positions on connector. Now they can hit the split. But there's great positions here for Titan Apex executing like a monster. There is a good triple frag from him. Prizrak now against five. They have yet to make a kill. And there it is. He will make at least one. But it's now eco time for that team. They don't even get the bomb down. And Titan securing their economy. They are going to be looking good there. But once again, that team, they only need two more rounds. And I would love to see them able to execute one of those A pushes where we saw that the, the flashes, the timing of each flash was just absolutely perfect. Every single player that they killed on that entry was blinded. And it was on different, completely different timings too. So that was pretty, I, was pretty pr I felt privileged to witness that team with that execution on that uh, push. But Titan are definitely looking good now on the defense. They have the money that they need. They have the positions worked out. And they're playing a pretty passive style against uh, that team. It looks like Blake going to pick up Kenny Esto. I don't even know how he managed to find that frag. Great stuff with the P250. And Kenny Esto's AWP will be on the floor. Fairly unretrievable, though, for that team. And we do have Maniac pushing in behind the smoke now. And he's not actually going to commit to this. Titan would very much like to get some info here. But they're very defensive on A, so they can't really pop flash someone into Palace or down slope. So you've got to look, rel look and rely on mid-peaks for their information, the safe information. So far, nothing. That team using all the time on the round. And there's a quick peek. Existence with a very fast reaction. Bondit goes back. Ooh, Existence. Who is that? That's Prizrak coming in from behind. <gasps> Prizrak doesn't get the kill! And that could have been massive. That team so methodical on this pistol. 
Krishak gonna try to get into ladder room. Here they go, hitting the B bomb site. They do get the kill onto Maniac. He only picks up one kill. Will they get the bomb down? That would be a pretty big deal for them. Their money is really screwed at the moment. And oh, what? Lab! <laughs> Just, oh my god. <laughs> that was too good. That was too good. That was just too good. I'm sorry, that was just too awesome. That was just like a one shot to his teammate rushing up short. Why would he be that guy? Oh man. Alright, well at least they have some money. At least he didn't didn't lose all of his money for the team kill. That was pretty astounding. Um, brilliant stuff there. Uh, let's have a look and see if they can dazzle us in any other ways that don't involve team kills this time. And we're going to have the orb on, onto World Edit again. He's going to go actually for the Palace play. And oh, it looks like Kenny S wanted to do it as well. Does get the pick onto him. And I was just saying, you know, World Edit was going to be in a good position to perhaps deny that. But Kenny S is just too fast. Too fast, too furious. And that team now only four rounds ahead as Titan make the slow ascent back to the tie game. And we see the A split trying to be set up. That Bundik going to pick off Apex. They're making their way uh, with a short pick at the same time. So they can do the short, uh, the, the B play or the A play. The A play is probably much better now that they have you know, Bondic already in position and having picked up the player. Bondic gets another kill. There's one more at the back towards CT spawn. Kenny S. And let's see if Kenny S can save this here. Oh, Kenny S not able to make the shot. They know his position now. And a lot of this is going to rest on Maniac to support Kenny S in with the rifle. But how does he get through to CPL? Kenny S with the first kill. And there's one coming up close. And it's Prizrak at the flash coming in, though. And Prizrak, 15 health. But there's the AWPA. Kenny S goes down. That team can at least not lose this match. They can at the very least draw it if they don't get one more round and actually win against Titan. I d I d yeah. <sighs> It, I don't know. It's it's crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely mental. I wouldn't expect that result ever. Uh, Titan now on Kenny S again with the AWP. Kenny S uh, going towards connector with his AWP. They're going to go for a bit of a mid aggression, like a tiny bit of delay on this as well. So far, nothing. You know that team haven't been super quick to really ever challenge mid. It's not usually been much of a priority for them. They are using the round timer to its full extent in many of these rounds. And we'll have to see now whether or not that team are able to just end this game right here and right now. They're going to be moving their way in now. That, here it is. Look at the patience. This patience. Oh my goodness! That was a shot and a half. But Apex and Kenny has come back with three frags in return. And that is what I call a response from Titan as we have Lamp and Bonnick making their way in. Lamp with a good kill there, but it's now all on Bonnick against three players. And this is going to be one of the hardest rounds ever for Bondic. 28 health does pick up Kenny S somehow. And uh, it's going to be existence though to end the run. And very patient there from Titan. Did you see that? There was a player here. I think there was one here. And there was another one. I think maybe in this angle. They're just all looking towards here. Just all just focusing on that one angle. So, so, so patient. We saw that it was a good 30 seconds at least until that tried to get the peak from World Edit there. And that, I love the, the, the thinking behind that too. I mean, you try to catch the enemy AWPer on a bad timing and you, you make it so that, that their spawn doesn't really mean as much, which is uh, it's good, good theory. It's good solid theory. And we can see that it kind of worked with a good reaction shot. But uh, Titan, oh, look at this. The smoke does go down. Maniac pushes into the smoke for the first quick frag. First blood has been drawn. And... Uh, Lamp very dangerous there. Gonna see Bondic coming in with a kill, but there's Maniac with a double spray down with the CZ. Best weapon in the game. There's Bondic now. And there he goes. So we're gonna look and see that uh, it's looking uh, pretty pretty tr uh, tight across the board here. It's only really Prizrak who's suffering on the frags partially because he was on that, that B position and Titan rarely set foot there through the apartments. And now we're going to see well, did it on the uh, AWP again. New angle from him. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, misses the flick. Bit of extra pressure there on the fire. But he's only going to lose half of his health, so it's not too, too bad. 
And we might see another push into apartments. I mean, we have a very tight setup here. Apex is, is there to actually support Kaylee with a pop flash, should he have wanted to actually move in. But Titan have actually kind of gambled at the start of the round with four on the uh, on the site. We do now see uh, existence moving towards middle for the spot. And uh, just uh, try to fix that. Maniac not drawing a weapon there on the, the graphical user interface, but whatever. Because he has a knife out, he's ruining everything. That team, once again, just slowly making a very delayed push onto middle. And it is largely empty existence for spots. Someone now as he peeks out, but it does lose a bit of health. They were ready for that. And they want to go for this A split. We can see the bomb is making its way around. And we can see that it's all dependent on this connector. If they have connector, they go for the A split. Instantly removing that, mol that Molotov with a, a smoke grenade. And Kenny S is in a very dangerous position. Here comes World Edit. Oh, how does he do it? He takes down Kenny S. And that could just be the entry to the site. There's a player, though, at the back. There's a player on Shadow. It's going to be very hard to remove them. The players from uh, Connector need to help out now. Uh, as Kaylee still is dug in on the, the Shadow position. Gets the double spray down. Switching to the AK. Not quite quickly enough. And it's now a one on two. It's all in on the stand-in right now. With no time left on the board. And we have another round for Titan. And this should be, I think, an eco. Yeah, it's going to be an eco for that team as uh, Titan climb their way back for at least a draw. At least a draw. That is so close. They just need one more round. One more round out of the remaining two. Although, I suppose they're only going to really have one solid chance now to, uh, to win this game. As Titan should be fairly guaranteed this one. And not only has this been a potential, well, a 30 rounder, it's also a match which has basically used like every single, like the max round time, like the 1 minute 45 on every single round. As uh, that team definitely liked to play a little bit slower on the P side. Uh, very reminiscent of Evo Gaming and, uh, you know, Navi as well. So here we go. It's all on this one. This is the big one here for that team, if they want to get the result of their lives, a result that they probably never dreamed possible, especially considering the recent climate of tournament results, this is now the time to do it. This is the round to do it. With a stand-in as well. Here goes World Edit. Maybe Flamey's going to be worried about being replaced now. <laughs> but uh, World Edit ready for a Kenny S uh, peak right now. We can see that Kenny S is actually over towards middle now. And he might just go, oh, he's actually going to go for, tried to actually wanted to jump for short, but messed it up there. But that's OK. Still gets a free peek onto underpass, which is great. Um, Maynard still waiting, just spotting. And uh, Kaylee and Apex, the man on the site here, Shadow and the bomb boxes. That team, once again, just eliminating as much time as they can in the round as Titan do wait for the setup. Titan, they don't really want to play too aggressively at the moment, we can see. And they haven't done that very much because of the slow style from that team. And we can see that they are setting up around slope now, three players. If they try to win this round with a fake, I am going to be quite surprised. But that seems to be what the setup is like. You can see the bomb coming in now as Kenny S eliminates the first player. They are pulling the Titan players all towards that side. They have to hit it now on B. They have to go now. Existence is still at the back there. They're you know, flashing in using their grenades. They have to go in. And looks like, wow, Bondix even rotating. Blade is rotating as the bomber is stuck there. And we have Maniac just waiting here. There goes the pop flash. They must have seen the bomb at this point. And there he is, and perhaps not seeing the bomb just yet. Very slow on the B push. In it finally comes, but A is cleaned up for days right now. Maniac in on top of the side. Doesn't do much. It's all on Bondic now against four players. Four angry French players and uh, they are going to stop that potential victory it's going to be the draw there and that team they can be pretty pleased with getting a draw against titan i mean on mirage and everything big result um kind of a little bit speechless and uh I don't really know what to say about that. They played a great CT side. I mean, some of the T rounds that they played also showed a great potential. I think my favorite round from that there, as I think you'd very much want to spotlight them in this game, was uh, that, that take on to A. They lost the player. They got picked off early. But they got the two players in connector, you know, the two players uh, coming in from Slope and Palace. And they just, they just flashed perfectly and smoked perfectly. It was just it was great. It was great to see. But uh, Titan, they came back. 
and, and we have a 15-15. So we've got uh, three more matches today. I think we've got three Epsilon matches. So uh, Epsilon versus the Lone Rangers, the British squad, are up next. And I think uh, the Lone Rangers, if they want to hit the playoffs, I think they have to win this match. If they lose it, I don't think they go through. So guys, stay tuned for more CS action here on Face It TV for Star Series.